there's only three things you really need to pay attention to on your monthly merchant account statement. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss all of them and go through a sample tier-based statement so you understand what to look for. This statement is from a retail business that is using the first data Omaha platform. If you don't know exactly what that means, that's okay, just follow along and I'll show you what to look for on the statement. First off, the purpose of your monthly statement is to give you a snapshot of your monthly credit card volume so you know what's going on with your merchant account transactions each month. Nowadays, the paper statement should be a supplement to an online reporting center or reporting tool that your merchant account provider gives you access to. The statement at the end of the month is just a recap of what's happening throughout the month and you should be monitoring your deposits daily to ensure that you're getting paid what you should. So here's the statement. Page number one is where you find your summary. You'll have total amount submitted, third party transactions, which in this case are American Express deposits, any adjustments like returns, credits, or chargebacks, and the corresponding fees that were charged for all transactions with the exception of American Express discount rates. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to account for that fee. Page two and three are notifications about interchange rate adjustments and how they affect your account. The important thing to remember here is that this is simply the legal disclosure part of the statement. The provider is letting you know that there's an adjustment coming. However, the adjustment may not even apply to your business or your rate structure. So for now, let's just leave that section alone. Page number four is an itemization of the card brands and corresponding volume. It shows average ticket, number of transactions in each category, and the total volume minus any adjustments if there are any. The remainder of page four are batch totals listed by date. Page five is the start of the fees paid for the month. This includes the percentage rates and transaction fees broken down into each tier-based category. You'll notice that each card brand lists qualified, mid-qualified, and non-qualified, and the rates associated with each category. Since this statement is a four-tiered rate program, the offline debit category is listed right here as well. You can see the corresponding volume percentage rate and total fees paid for each tier level in this section. The only American Express fee that shows up on this statement is the 20 cent transaction fee shown right here. This business gets a separate bill from American Express for the percentage rates and detailed transactions for the month because they are enrolled in the ESA program, which just means that it's a direct integration with American Express. Amex has a new program called OptBlue, which allows your processor to integrate Amex Amex transactions and show all of the fees and deposits on your monthly statement. There are other benefits to it as well, and you can find out more on that at bankcardsales.com. Moving on to page six, you'll see the final breakdown of all the fees by category and their corresponding category fee. For example, you can see that this business processed $13,617.95 in the Visa offline debit category. That means, of course, that out of their total volume for the month, over 13,000 of it came from non-PIN-based Visa debit cards. And for that $13,617, this company paid just 1% flat. Now that we've gone page by page through the monthly statement, let's look at the three most important things to glance at each month when you get your statement. The important sections in this example are the summary section on page number one and the fees charged section on pages five and six. So each month that this statement comes to you, take a glance at these important sections on your statement to save yourself time and increase efficiency. I've referred to this as the five minute method because at most you should be spending five minutes to review your statements each month. So number one, make sure that your volume looks accurate. Take a look at page number one and if the total seems accurate, move on to the second part. Remember that I'm suggesting that you keep an eye on your transactions throughout the month through your online reporting tool and of course the deposits that hit your bank account each night. So again, this is just a quick check-in on the numbers. Number two, make sure your fees balance. This statement shows a total fee of $734.91, and if that fee looks about right to you, we're ready to move on. Let's take that number and the total volume from number one and move on to the third thing to review each month on your statement. So number three is to calculate your effective rate. Without a doubt, this is the most important rate to look at on your monthly merchant account statement. The reason, of course, is that it accounts for every single rate, transaction fee, and fixed monthly cost that you paid to accept credit cards for that month. 
To calculate your effective rate, you simply take the total fee of $734.91 and divide it by 38,795.52. However, in this example, we need to eliminate American Express volume and transaction fee charges from the equation. The reason being, of course, is that the 1500 that shows up in the summary section is included in the total, but the fees are billed from American Express on a different statement. Since we don't have those fees, we'll just eliminate American Express completely from this calculation. Take 38,795.52 and subtract 1,593 and you're left with $37,294.59. We're also going to eliminate the $1.60 for American Express transaction fees. So when we do that, we're left with a total of $733.31. Now we're ready for our final calculation. Divide 733 by the total volume of 37,294.59 and you'll get an effective rate of 1.96, which is a great effective rate. So that's the first day to Omaha four tiered statement walkthrough. For more details and screenshot images of the statement shown in this video, head over to bankcardsales.com to view more. I'm Brian Manning and have a great day.